Biopsy is a procedure to remove a piece of tissue or a sample of cells from your body so that it can be tested in a laboratory. A biopsy is frequently used to confirm the specific type of cancer. Apart from bio cancer, biopsy can also determine other pathological conditions as well. Now, basically, biopsy is removing a piece of tissue and examining it in the laboratory. Now, this tissue removal and examination under in laboratory is done to determine certain factors. Factors such as the histological and cytological analysis, which is important from clinical perspective, whereas transcriptomic analysis, genomic analysis and proteomic analysis are important from research perspective. Now, these biopsies can tell whether a tissue sample shows cancer or cancerous properties or not, where the cancer originates in the body, what type of cancer it is and also the stage of the cancer. Now, imaging tests such as MRI, CT scan or even PET scan are helpful but alone cannot tell the difference between a cancer or a non-cancerous condition or also which particular type of cancer it is. So for that comes the importance of biopsy. Now biopsy can be of different types. Suppose in the thyroid gland we have a tumor. Now this tumor, from this tumor we can excise out a small chunk. Now this small chunk of the tumor can be sent for biopsy or we can take out the entire tumor and send this for biopsy. It's like taking out the entire chocolate bar from the wrapper and sending it for testing whereas taking a small chunk of the chocolate and sending it for biopsy or analysis. Now this taking out the entire tumor is known as excisional biopsy and taking out a small chunk is known as incisional biopsy. Now incisional biopsy can involve the classical cutting with a scalpel, cutting a small chunk of the tumor and sending it to the lab or we can use certain techniques like core needles or needle based biopsies. Now this needle based biopsies sometimes use imaging guidance like USG guidance or CT guidance. Those are known as the USG guided biopsy or CT guided biopsy. Now another type of biopsy that is there known as skin biopsy. Now we use a skin biopsy machine which punch out the lesion from the skin as a, as a patch and send this patch with the lesion for, to the lab for analysis. Another type of biopsy is known as endoscopic biopsy in which we introduce an endoscope in some of the orifices of the body and that endoscope brings out the chunk of the tissue for analysis. Now biopsy involves histopathological analysis as we discussed earlier. Now this analysis can help us to understand the staging or cancer progression. Now the biopsy can reveal whether the tissue is normal or whether it has undergone hyperplasia, dysplasia or even neoplasia or cancer. Now cancer cell specific biomarkers can be analyzed using a technique known as immunohistochemistry. This can supplement the findings of a biopsy in determining the exact type of cancer. I hope this summarizes the idea of biopsy. To get notes and flashcards you can follow us on our Facebook page or our Instagram page at Animated Biology with Arpan. The link will be in the description box below. Also, we need your support to make free high quality content. For that, you can go and contribute in our Patreon page or can use the super thanks icon to support our channel. The super thanks icon will be in the bottom right corner of any video. You can contribute using Paytm, Paypal or UPI. If you wish to connect with Arpan, you can use the following links in the description or for medicine related content, go and follow the Nord Medic on YouTube or you can get in touch with Ayan of Nord Medic through these links. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next one.